This feature is presented by Fisher's Neighborhood Market, a proud supporter of all area high school and local sports and all the local communities. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the latest sports coverage from around the area that TV, radio, and cheap web streams refuse to cover. In the words of the great Bill Paxton, if you won't do it for me, then do it for your country. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Shirts Clemens softball has been on a heater the last month after struggling late in the regular season and having to win their last game of the regular season just to make the field. They have rolled through some tough opponents and look to continue as they take on San Antonio Brennan in the fourth round of the 6A softball playoffs. The Buffaloes into the fourth round for the first time ever. They came from behind to sweep a doubleheader at Dripping Springs in the second round and then swept a home and home against previous two loss Round Rock Cedar Ridge to get to the fourth round. Brennan has had an easier path, but they had a tougher time with district mate San Antonio O'Connor winning barely in three games, going to extra innings in the third game in the third round. Really good pitching matchup, Hampos of Brennan and Alexis Worthy of Clemens. Very likely will be a low scoring series. Let's check out how it all happened, presented by the great folks at Fisher's Neighborhood Market. Brianna Campos had the upper hand in the first two games of the series. She gave up two runs in the first inning of the series, then threw 13 straight shutout innings, allowing four total hits. But Brennan left five runners at third base in game one and only managed a split of the first two games of the series to set up game three at SAISD. Clemens briefly got the momentum back after a dropped foul ball led to two runs in the second inning, but Campos didn't panic and neither did the rest of the Bears. A five spot in the sixth, two off bases loaded walks put the series away as Brennan outlasted the spirited Buffaloes to advance to the 6A quarters for the first time since that magical 2017 season. Selena Gomez got the ice bath, which on a 100 degree day felt really good and the Bears move on. We've seen these pitches a couple of times. We knew that we just had to make our adjustments when we went up to the plate, and that's what we did. We knew that all it took was us to heat up. We all love each other a lot, and I think that helps us fight. Um, it motivates us that we're, we all have each other's backs, and we know that we're going to pull it through for each other, and 
We're playing for something bigger than ourselves now, just motivation in itself. We owe that a lot to our pitcher up there. She throws great games almost all the time, and we know that she's up there working hard, so we have to do the same to back her up when she needs it because she's always doing her job. Our mentality, you know, first game, first inning of the first game, you know, that was our rough inning, especially for me too. So we knew we had to switch our mentality some way, some so just some way, and we just knew if we switched our mentality and do something different, then it was going to go in our favor. Brennan will move on to take on West Laco in the quarterfinals. The RGV has been on a heater the last couple of seasons. The Panthers outlasted Holmes in a three-game series back in round two. Clemens, Clemens softball ends their best season in school history. Reporting from SAISD, I am Mr. Bowtie. Third round of the 6A baseball playoffs, New Braunfels High taking on San Antonio Reagan. The Rattlers are used to being in the third round. They have four state finals appearances in the last nine completed seasons, but this year in the playoffs has been a little bit of a struggle. Needed to survive a game three against Round Rock High to escape the second round. As for New Braunfels, they're in the third round for the first time since 2006. That was a good year for the Unicorns as they went all the way and won the state championship. They're led by the grandson of a San Antonio football coaching legend. Could he and the other Unicorns lead New Braunfels to the fourth round? Let's check out all the action from here at the Diamond presented by the great people at Fisher's Neighborhood Market. You saw him earlier, number three, Ryder Rutledge. His grandpa, the world famous D.W. Rutledge, who led Converse Judson football to greatness in the 80s and 90s with four state titles. New Braunfels won game 1-2-1 one, one, and held the Rattlers to one inning of offense in game two, but that was a nine-run, eight-hit second inning as Reagan took the second game 9-5. Rattlers had only four hits and no runs the other five innings to set up a third game at SAISD. Reagan only scored in three of 21 innings in the series. One was the nine spot in game two, and the other was a four spot in game three. But it was just enough as New Braunfels left the bases loaded in both of the last two innings of game three, and the Rattlers were able to get by the Unicorns to head back to round four and end New Braunfels' time in Class 6A. It's always about saving that big inning, and you you can have the big inning, but the other team can't, and you just got to keep fighting and fighting and fighting. As long as you throw strikes and you just keep executing every pitch, you're going to come out on top. We're not the biggest team, obviously, so we know going into a ball game that we're not going to hit balls over the fence. We're not going to get 
massive hits and we got to be scrappy and get runs as we can and that's what we did this series and it helped out to our favor. Team full of dogs, we got a list full of people we got to prove wrong so we're all going to give it our all every time we go out there. Rattlers will take on O'Connor in the round of 16. The Panthers have caught fire in the knockout series. New Braunfels, one of their best seasons in recent memory, comes to an end in the third round. Reporting from San Antonio, I am Mr. Bowtie.